Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to, these are UAG Grand Disbursement Update. The battle is fierce. The battle is fierce. This update is, is hot. When I when I was listening to this, ghost pimple were on my body. My heart was beating fast. I was I was in a frenzied mode. My, my body was shaking. Guys, you need to listen to this update to know what Ken and his cohorts have been doing. See how they want to drag or start their road to the mud and see the Igbos. You know, I don't want to be tribalistic because I'm an Igbo. But this is a shame. This is a shame. I'm a Christian. I'm an Igbo. But I am ashamed. I am ashamed what Igbos and Christians are doing. Even is a Muslim that is calling them to order. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Guys, listen to this. We'll see you at the end. It's not good to bring religion or tribe to this. But these people have made religion. They've robbed our tribe to the mud. They've robbed our religion to the mud. I'm ashamed. Guys, listen to this. We'll see you at the end. Uh, did you ask? Yeah, I, I talked about uh, this uh, allegations against Ustas that would that he's the one stopping the disbursement. You know, they uh, accuse us, you know, way back that we tried to stop the disbursement. And, uh, you know, the uh, petition, the court case uh, uh, Apostle Ken took you guys to, it is like that. You were just summarizing everything. So that is a response. Ustas Dawood is not our problem. Ustas Dawood is an asset among all the pressure group for us now. Osas Dawood is the only right right man standing who has exposed the truth and nothing but the truth. It is because he exposed the truth that they don't like him. The other time they came to say Osas Dawood is bringing religion into it. And uh, he need to apologize to, to Ken Wakama and to Christendom. Believe me, if there is anybody that need to apologize, it's Ken Wakama, as I said, that need to apologize to Austin Dawood and apologize to Nigerians. Respect is not by force, it's earned. You don't force respect. People don't force respect. And respect is reciprocal. So if Ken Wakama has behaved as a child of God, a child of God, not a, not a man of God, all the insult it is only it's not only Oscar Dawo that insulted him many people insulted him many people are insulting him why is he picking Oscar Dawo's case as a special case Oscar Dawood has said exactly and one other muslim came up to say we we the christians or the pastors in the ecosystem are not behaving like christians he talked about they, the Muslims, believe in Christ more than we, the Christians. And I believe it because Christ in the Quran is, is, is said to be the Messiah. He's a sinless human being. He came from God. The only some few things that when you look at the Christian, and, and it's not an issue of Christian uh, as Muslim religion. Ostas Dawood was telling uh, Ken Wakama nothing but the truth. And all I explained before, all those people that are attacking us as the wood are those people that are in the same camp. And I mentioned it that all the pastors that have not seen the wrongs and the lied, the lies of us uh, of, of of Ken Wakama, it means they too they are children of darkness. Because if not children of darkness, the lies the lies that Ken Wakama has multiplied. And any man of God that will say he has not identified the lies, the lies that he has been telling people is more than what any other, even the devil testified that he has been lying. So I wonder why men, some people will come that they are men of God. And I told you about what they are doing is to buy time so that people will get tired. Daniel. 
So, what it's, uh, I'm saying let's, 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 uh, let us tell let ourselves the truth. Okay. Let us tell ourselves the truth. Ken, uh, Ken Wakama and UAAG are having no money to give anybody. And for your information, those who don't know, the so-called government supporters that are supporting him have told him to hands up. That is what the uh, the publicity secretary told us a few days ago. And I have been. they have told me too that they asked him to hands up. All this was that he is refusing to give data. And that is why this disbursement cannot take place. I equally want people to know. This disbursement they are talking about is not UAH's disbursement though. Is the little palliative that the pressure group were able to source, and they don't call it a BGN uh, grant. It's not. It's not UAG's grant. It's not uh, a BGS grant. It's a sort of palliative, and that is why it is not big enough, and it's only going to serve one one bundles in each of the NGOs. So all those NGOs that will tell you they have uh, twelve thousand uh, uh, twelve thousand uh, bundles. And when you multiply 12,000 times 1,000, you know, 12, 12 million data. How can one person say he got 12 million data? Okay, he's going to be given only one bundle. bundle. How will he share one bundle among 12 million uh, beneficiaries? Only God knows how he's going to do it. Anybody that is fighting uh, Ostas Dawood, he's not fighting him for a good cause. He's just selfishness. Pure selfishness. The game now is the game of Ebos versus others. The other day I mentioned that Ken Wakama say he's a nationalist. He is this. He is not detribalized. He doesn't know the meaning of nationalist. He Ken Wakama, a country director, Ibo. Uh, chairman think tank, Ibo. Uh, 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 UAAG, Ibo. ICT, Ibo. Tochuku, Ibo. Ch a spokesperson, OCG, Ibo. Everybody, Ibo. Uh, name them this uh, this the uh, uh, foot soldiers uh, Ufanaya Ibo uh, Stanley Ibo Osim Ibo everybody so and he's saying he's he's not a tribalistic human being I can see why it is very difficult for the Ibos to get leadership I told you earlier that I have worked in Ibo land I stay in Abangwa I know Oken Wakama's village. I, I stay in a, my best friends in Nigeria today. If I have three, they are all Igbos. But this one is not a wise man. It's not wise. He has now come up with another thing, that, calling that uh, elders of UAAG. Somebody who came out with a voice note telling people to pay 10,000, telling uh, uh, NGOs to pay 10,000, 10, the apps have crashed. Uh, the the grammar about pay stack where it was he said they should pay fifty fifty thousand it was pressure that brought it to thirty five the one he told people to bring hundred thousand for screening and uh, it was loan but later he on his own and his few a few others that it is eight it is not true he didn't tell them eight and he knew it from the beginning that he has no money yet he organized to collect this money he is using the public money beneficiaries money to fight them and now he has come out to say he didn't collect the money from any beneficiary he didn't collect money from uh, NGO so he is putting the NGOs and the bundle heads at risk and the people are sit sitting down there none of them can come out and cry when they are calling for press conference the press conference will favor them and they refuse to contribute because they want to play good boy good girl good, good uh, NGOs it is well, whether they like it or not, this uh, press conference must hold. Every lie must be exposed. People should stop thinking they are targeting Ken Wakama. It's not Ken Wakama or UAG. Everybody that has come people will be brought to book. So what I am trying to say is, Ken Wakama has nothing to offer. And we said it before. People accuse us. People sent threats to me. They attacked me both physically and spiritually. I thank God for even Ostas Dawood was against me. He abused me on the 4th of November. He abused me. I just look at it. But the joy I have with him, he has come to realize and he has apologized to everybody. So he is as good as any other person. But those people that are doing the playing this game 
and pastors who are claiming they are not seeing the rotten things that is happening i don't really know where we are going and somebody will come that they are elders of uaag you are, you don't have respect you want small boys to abuse you and insult you like this elder from yoruba land traditional people traditional people don't talk like that word by body language you are showing support you are backing ken wakama show me your friend and i will tell you who you are if ken wakama you can be backing him backing him in all that he is doing it means you have the best of the same feather so what we are saying is and ken wakama has reached the end the end of the route that is why he will take uas to court what has what has his court going to court got to do with he has collected money he has entered into a contract he has collected money that is going to give them grants whatever ken is going to do his tricks will die here he should go and look for that grant and pay people or else they will pay with him he has lied to them he has money he even said after screening the first batch of the screening will get a lot before the last batch he should go and give people their money it's not the returning what he what he collected from them he should go and give them their billions and ken wakama has confessed he ha it is even written in first headquarters that he has never told anybody that he has money to give and some idiot out there are defending him that he has mandate and the people who were defending him have come to say he has his name he has no mandate and the government he is claiming they say he has no mandate he should hands up he should submit his data and hands up because of what he know he has done with the hands up it will expose him the more that's why he's refusing and i'm advising the the, the abgl if he say he will not submit they should leave him in 24 hours or 48 hours if they want data that will take cover all that they want to give they will get it if ken doesn't want to give they should leave him alone do you need to force him after all he's the one to benefit and some of the data he has are duplicated the most of the data scan wakama has are duplicated if not you should bring it and let them verify it why is he hiding it and why is he the, he is just looking for ostas dawood only ostas dawood he only is only looking for ostas dawood to rob to the mud because ostas dawood has come out to tell the public the truth and nothing but the truth so they are trying to make sure they bring him down and no matter what they do they cannot bring that young man down because he has said the truth and the truth will set him free so any other thing they are doing trying to do or manipulate against that young man that man is a muslim he's not a christian if it was a christian i would tell him no weapon form against him shall prosper no matter how they do it he's a muslim but he has the mark of touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm whatever they do anywhere they go there is nothing they can do with that young man he has said the truth even though he made mistakes before, but he came out and apologized and said the truth. It is only Ostas Dawood that has told the whole public the truth. And that is the truth that they are holding on. And since he said uh, Ken Wakama's name is not in the document, they are the ones that put it. None of the loyalists of Ken Wakama have debunked what Ostas Dawood has said. Simply meaning Ostas Dawood is correct. And he keeps telling people that he is a partner of U.S. We are not saying no. He is, if he is a partner, he should bring the documents of the partnership. And if we are aware that they have, they have doctored some document with Atto, we want that document. If he is right, if he knows that he is right and he is a man of God, he should bring out that document. And once we get that document, he and the Atto or whoever are behind, that is an express way for them to go to prison. We are waiting for them. We know what they have done. We know what they did. And we are waiting for them. Let them bring it out. But as far as the Executive Council of UAS and the Senate, they don't know Ken Wakama till tomorrow. He went to court. And it, in, in his claim in the court, that is, I don't know whether... Hi, guys. Oh, my God. This is an expose. The, the network court... Uh, the network court will still keep you updated we still keep you updated the battle is on the battle is 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 at flame you know i was saying that this is a weekend that there's no much thing that is happening this is an expose so guys let us go and do more digging and do more research and see if we can get the continuation of that very meeting see you guys